Hey guys, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm making this video except for uh, one reason. Let me talk about something. This is about talking straight. And I only bring this up because it's really easy to get facts confused nowadays. And we see that all over TV and all over in the politics and everything. And I'm not here to slam anybody or to put down any uh, other people with opinions. First of all, let me just say this video is an opinion. And for all of the subscribers and people that watch my videos, I hope you realize this is my opinion. This is my two cents. This is what works for me. And not necessarily everything that I state really is a fact. It's a solid fact, an undisputable fact. And I think a lot of people are coming off nowadays that what they say is basically this is it this is law this is fact and and when it comes to uh, when they're remaking music and, and and such this is the way that you mic a guitar this is the way uh, that you go ahead and mic an, amplif uh, a mic, mic an amplifier this is the way how you mix down and I think a lot of times they're coming off as this is this is a fact and 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 they're leaving out the part that actually this is their opinion and I think you need to realize that when watching some of these other videos uh, there's a lot of other channels on YouTube that I just really love to, to watch I've learned a lot from them um, but sometimes I, I, I totally disagree with what they're saying and, uh, and I expect uh, a lot of my viewers may totally disagree with what I say a lot of the times but uh, you know when they say you got to mic a guitar this way going back to this you know it, it, apparently there was a times like when Jimi Hendrix is in the studio recording they tied a rope onto his mic and was swinging it around and, and, and uh, mic in his guitar cabinet that way you know getting a, a Leslie cabinet or a Doppler effect or whatever so who's to say what the right way is to uh, you know to mic a guitar I just made a video on using your ears that you got to use your ears to mix now most people would potentially agree with that but that's uh, it's really not fact because there are services uh, like Lander and if you don't know what that is go ahead and just google that L-A-N-D-R or whatever something like that and uh, and Harbel uh, I've got a Harbel software program H-A-R-B-A-L harmonic balancing and that basically you're just taking your eyes and, and looking at the screen and and, and matching up your uh, your responses to uh, other music or to a you know basically to a graph so that's really not even using your ears in a lot of cases uh, so saying that fact this is the way to mix uh, using your ears only is actually incorrect because there, there are other other ways um, and and that's really all I want to do is come across and just saying these are just opinions on these videos so Take it for what it's worth. Keep watching those videos. They're great. They're great. Uh, because, uh, like I say, I've learned a lot of them from a lot of them, and I'm sure you guys will too. Um, I'm not going to mention some of my favorite channels right now because pretty much I think everybody here in the audio community and the home recording, we all pretty much have the same people that we like to watch. But just because, uh, you know, I get... 2,000 views and they get a hundred thousand views doesn't mean they're correct and it doesn't mean that I'm incorrect and I'm not trying to defend my videos or anything like that but uh, they're human beings everybody's a human being so uh, take it as, as as a guidance and take it as a, a suggestion and don't just say everything is fact and uh, yes there are some facts <laughs> This is a Stratocaster. <laughs> okay, we'll let you guys go. Talk to you later.